is Venkata Dheeraj present? I think you can. Good morning, everyone. This is my study on risk factors for presenal cataract in tertiary care center uh, in Andhra Pradesh. Introduction. Uh, cataract is major cause of blindness worldwide with greater prevalence in developing countries like India. Presenal cataract refers to onset before the age of 50 years. In India, mo almost 60% of blindness is attributed to cataract. It suggests, suggests that the Indian population is either widely exposed to environmental risk factors or there is genetic predisposition to cataract. Modifiable risk factors that affect the occurrence of cataract has led to the search for associations between cataract and diabetes, hypertension, body mass index, uh, gender, smoking, and UV light exposure. The multiple risk factors for presenal cataract include family history, refractive error, metabolic diseases, and long-term use of corticosteroids, atopy. Posterior subcapsular cataract uh, is related with atopy, is the most common type of cataract in presenal age. There was uh, this study called Beaver Dam study in Wisconsin concluded uh, significant association of cigarette smoking with cataract. Steroid use is the fourth leading risk factor for uh, secondary cataract and accounts for 4% of all cataract extractions. Addressing the preventable risk factors can help ophthalmologists to increase awareness among the young patients about the modifiable lifestyle practices to decrease the pre-existing burden of senile cataract in the community and thereby reducing the visual morbidity. Aims and objectives to assess the risk factors causing presenal cataract. Materials and methods, study design, it was a cross-sectional study. Duration was of one year, a sample size of 100. Uh, it, it, the study was conducted in Shantiram Medical College, uh, Nandial. Inclusion criteria, patients of age less than 50 years with cataract. Exclusion criteria, patients with senile cataract. Methods of collection of data, all patients attending the tertiary care center fulfilling the inclusion criteria were included in the study. All patients were evaluated uh, with for detailed history, sociodemographic pro profile, occupation, smoking, use, uh, use of smokeless uh, tobacco, alcohol use, dietary pattern, and any systemic disorders, long-term uh, drug therapy, ocular trauma, and uh, complete ocular examination was done to look for any evidence of intraocular inflammatory conditions. Complete ophthalmic evaluation was done, including visual equity, slit lamp biomicroscopy with emphasis on type of cataract, grading of nucleus, and poster segment evaluation using both direct and indirect ophthalmoscopy. IOP was recorded using uh, non-contact tonometer. Results, uh, total 100 participants were included in the study, out of which 42% were females and 58% were, 42% were males and 58% were females. There was more of female uh, predisposition. Out of 100 patients, 56% uh, were field workers. Most uh, f uh, commonly, they are uh, exposed to UV light. 24% uh, had history of tobacco consumption, including chewing also. 6% had history of uh, trauma. 6% were known diabetics. 4% uh, were diagnosed and treated for da various dermatological conditions. 4% of people had steroid usage. Multiple risk factors were identified that are responsible for presenile cataract in this study. Majorly UV light exposure, that is uh, three, to four, 3 to 4 times higher in areas with an average of 12 hours of daily sunlight exposure. Second most common risk factor identified was tobacco consumption. Discussion, uh, presenile cataract is becoming a common occurrence leading to cataract surgery at an earlier age. The greater exposure to risk factors such as UV light, poor diet, frequent episodes of dehydration explains cataract is more common in developing countries than in industrialized nations. The study we conducted uh, showed more female preponderance of 58%. Similar findings were seen in other study also. Also, there was a strong association found with UV light and tobacco intake. Steroid usage is again one of the most important risk factor associated with cataract in this study. In this study, there is also association with type 2 diabetes. Usually in uncontrolled diabetes, insulin therapy is advised for strict, uh, strict control of blood glucose level, exercise, anorexia, as well as ischemia-induced hypoglycemia, leads to unfolded protein response, lens epithelial cell death, through activation of specific death pathways and apoptosis, which will lead to development of cataract. In this study, 6% of cases were associated with trauma. 
traumatic cataract is usually formed after blunt or penetrating injuries to the eye leading to physical damage and discontinuation of lens capsule and denaturation of lens proteins onset of cataract leads to progressive loss of vision that further affects daily work especially in young population earning livelihood for their family identifying the modifiable risk factors and creating awareness about it to patients will reduce this morbidity conclusion presenal cataract is most commonly associated with uv light exposure steroid usage and consumption of tobacco so lifestyle modifications at personal level such as refraining from use of tobacco exposure to radiation will help in delaying or preventing early onset of cataract